Hi, I want to quickly talk about the difference between ASCII UTF-8, other UTFs, and Unicode. Okay, so when computing was just invented, there was this first standard, first standard, which was, which was ASCII. And the, the idea of that standard was that you in, can encode a bunch of things inside the seven bits. And uh, so that would be numbers, that would be letters, capital letters, and some special symbols for computer, like null terminator, don't worry about it, doesn't matter. The point is, th that was the standard. But then when computing became more popular, right? So you, you had, you also needed to use computers and communicate with computers in other country. And so you needed to capture other languages like Russian, Arabic, and so on. Then you also wanted to capture emojis and other potential symbols. And so that's when Unicode came in. It just gave us a lot more bits to capture a lot more things, right? So that was the Unicode. And then, so where does the UTF encoding come in? So because the because the Unicode is so fat and big, 32 bits, that's a very, that's a lot of bits, right? But sometimes, for example, for us, uh, people living in English countries, we might only need the English part. We might not use those other symbols. And so storing all these 32 bits, while we only need the ASCII 8, that, that might be very inefficient. So this is where UTF-8 comes in. It allows us to make make those big Unicode strings a lot more compact most of the time. So it helps to save a lot of memory. So ASCII is the initial basically alphabet of 200 or 120 something symbols um, that capture in English words, letters, and some special symbols. Unicode is extended ASCII, which just allows to capture other languages and just captures a lot more. And Unicode and the uh, UTF uh, standards, they are just the standards that allow us to compress those Unicode, uh, those Unicode um, expressions. So they can be a lot more compact in our memory and during communication, you know, saving memory in our computer and trans uh, sending a lot less files around across network. So this is the idea. Thanks.